Welcome to Empire Total War, United Provinces, Grand Campaign, fought on hard. Um, I'm just um, arranging for my fleet that's over in Hispaniola at the moment, minus one of the ships, the other one can stay behind and protect the port, um, and move them over to um, pick up that missionary from New Grenada. Um, I'll rush through all the moves as usual, this is the, um, uh, this is the um, turn end for winter 1747, and uh, I'm, I'm showing the British, I don't normally show the British, but you see they sent a large ship over to um, the Americas at the same time that Spain have just brought a very large fleet over from the Americas and somebody up from the southern parts of Europe as well. Well, they're the ones that were um, blockading the trade route, of course. Um, so they seem to have left my trade route alone this time, which is great news for me. OK, we'll go through the uh, Marathas, the next most important ones for us. We'll see what they're going to do. Yes, it looks like he's making incursions into my territories there as I sort of get stretched a little in order to go further north. He's found some gaps that he can go through, not surprisingly, I suppose. You saw him wrecking one of my buildings there. Um, we're going to have to go out and take him out there. Ah, he's come through, so I can intercept. Certainly will do. I'll do this on uh, the auto-resolve. Uh, not a bad result. Unfortunately, he's got away, so he can still damage my properties. That wasn't right, really. An artillery piece like that, with um, a mounted general and infantry, there's no way he should have been able to get away from there. I don't normally show the Genoese, uh, but they are close to me now, they are next to Savoy, so I just thought on this occasion I'd um, let people have a look at them. Uh, not only that, it leads to Bavarians. Oh, here are the Bavarians making an attack on me. Well, there are the results of the battle. He's lost 739, I've lost 162, I didn't bother chasing him up anywhere, the whole idea was basically just to um, defeat his attack. I want him to retain men, because I want him to be paying out for them, of course, as well. places we've taken, not a surprise, that's this one here. Yep, we're not too bothered about that, it's uh, perfectly expected. Uh, we're still getting some money out of it, 88. Gosh, isn't that brilliant. Everything's destroyed now, you can see. Uh, it's been destroyed in here as well. Everything's all completely gone. Doesn't seem to have recruited anything whatsoever into there. Well, of course that's my target, isn't it? So can I reach him in one? Oh yes, I'll be able to just reach him in one, and then I can attack my main objective, which is Hindustan, and I can take it in one turn. So that would be really good not to have to fight anybody to get it. Brilliant. Okay, let's have a look at the other places first. So that's the one we just looked at, that's workers on strike. Uh, new party workers in Spain. Might have to think about that one. Uh, I've got other things I want to spend my money on. Morale in battle, command with leading infantry units, etc. That failed. Okay, let's go and get something else then. Nemon from Woodies. Ah, did promise I'd kill the sound, didn't I? Let's get rid of that sound straight away. I had it for the battle, you see, so. Uh, what are we going to have? A puddling furnace. That sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, yep, I'll have a puddling furnace for a change. Right, well, I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me there. Um, I've just got rid of the sound there so that um, uh, you'll be able to hear what's going on in the future. Uh, nothing new, I, I think you could see what was going on when, uh, um, even if you couldn't hear me properly because of all the noise there. I even turned it up during the battle and made it a bit more interesting for me to fight, that's the thing. While we're over here, um, I just want to get this uh, missionary out. Uh, I do struggle to find the person, I don't know what, it's not so much the person, it's the port, I think. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think that's what fooled me, because I was originally sending him over to this port, wasn't I? Because I thought it would be easier for him, but it isn't. So we're going to get him into this one here. What we're doing, of course, is putting this missionary onto the fleet. I've collected all the fleet together in the Americas, except for one small ship, a sloop. Um, and uh, the idea is that I'll get this chap on the boats and. Sometimes they don't go on, actually, for some reason. I'm sure it's something that I do, but let's have a look. Is he on there? Yep, he's on the fleet, isn't he? Okay, so take those over to here. Him over to here. 
be able to do that in one move. You can speed up the battle map. It's a shame that you can't speed up the uh, campaign map as well. <laughs> right, let's get him off the boats. Here's the agent. Let's pick him out from here and move him over somewhere central in the island. Don't know why I can't just disembark him actually. That's odd. Right. No idea what happened there, but for some reason it didn't want me to... It's even let me go into a port that doesn't exist there. I'll be a bit worried I might not be able to get that navy out of there again. Uh, let's see if I can move it back. Yes, I can get it back into a port. It's important to do that because I don't want him to be sort of out exposed. And if you notice on the turn end, I'm not even sure if I showed it or not, but um, the um, British fleet came over into the Americas just as the large Spanish fleet was leaving and going over to Europe. So, oh no, can't do anything about that yet. Not a problem now. Next thing I want to do is have a look over at the east coast of India and see what we can do over there. Um, what I want to do is very much the same as I've already done over um, in central India. I want to wreck these places here. And these places then will give me a bargaining point. There's my army. Now, there's nobody in there. Let's see if the auto resolve will be kind to me again, shall we? If it isn't kind to me, I'm going to have to fight this one. Let's have a look. Well, if it isn't going to be kind to me. Yes, I think that's pretty good, don't you? 120, 120, 60, 120. 469 against 420. And all he's got is mob and populace, basically. I haven't got any guns to hit him with, so I think I'll do an auto-resolve on this. Yep, it's going to be a, quite a convincing victory. Very happy with that. Thank you very much. Same drill here. I'm going to destroy everything that's here. For anybody that's wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I don't have enough troops to be able to hold all of these places. I've been tied up a long time in India um, trying to gain my objectives and I've had to work all the way up from the south up until the north. So it's taken me a long time to do this and cost me a great deal of resources in order to do it. I'm not fighting the sea battles that I like to fight and therefore I'm not gaining prize money. So as soon as the Indian campaign is over, the happier I'm going to be. So, let's have a look, just to make sure that I've got all those out of the way. Yep, I want to totally wreck that economy there. I need to stay in there. If I come out, somebody might go back in there and then restore all the buildings, or rather cancel out my, my burning down of the buildings, which is obviously not what I want to happen. Let's go and have a look up here and see what this um, Calcutta is doing in the meantime. I'm just going to hope he doesn't recruit anybody in there. He's repaired the port for me, so when I take Calcutta, and I fully intend to do that next turn, then um, I expect that port to be working for me. It's only, a f uh, well, it is a trading port, but um, it's not attached directly to his capital, I don't think. So I don't think he's going to be able to trade through there, but even if he does, I'm really not too worried about that either. I might just have a double check on that, because it depends if I can reach. I think I can reach next time, can't I? I can almost reach this turn, so I'm sure I'll be able to reach next turn. So, no worries about that. I think I'll just leave that. Let's have a look in the rest of India, see what we've got up here. See if there are any incursions that I need to deal with, anything that's going to wreck my economy. If you remember, there was one that got past me, and he'd already wrecked a building. I think he's wrecked this one. Yes, he has. He's done a damn good job of wrecking that. Look at that, all the way down there, just by landing in it once. That's a bit cruel, isn't it, really, that of the uh, AI doing that to me, I think. Anyway, let's have a look over here. Um, he took a bit of a hit on that artillery, so I think he's going down anyway on there. So what I'm going to do is um, send my troops over from here. 